Hello everyone and welcome to our Spider-Man Let's Play. We continue our web slinging adventure with Out of the Frying Pan. The devil's breath is gone, but we got even bigger problems. Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Uh-oh. Should have worn your seatbelt. Take him out. Hurry. I'm on it. Now, as of the moment, really trying to take these guys out of commission, but we are quickly surrounded by so many individuals. I mean, these guys obviously aren't going to be playing fair by any stretch of the imagination, so it's probably going to be in our best interest to really try to utilize some of the things around us to do a little extra damage while we can. Damn it. They got into the armory. Is that bad? That sounds bad. It means some of the inmates are armed with rocket launchers. Yeah, that's bad. I'm on it. Now we are dealing a significant amount of damage to these guys, which is fantastic. Now this gentleman with the rifle is gonna quickly find that that's not gonna work out too well for him. Who thought it was a good idea to bring rockets into a prison? Come in, this is Sergeant Hansen. Anyone on this channel? This is Captain Watanabe. Where are you? Electrical access. Stop near cell block D. Trying to restore power. That you in the chopper? Affirmative. What happened here? No idea. Now, we still have that guy with that launcher. It's going to be incredibly important that we get rid of him, considering that he could just create so many problems for us, and we definitely don't want to be dealing with stuff like that. And also, we don't want him to be hurting our friends in blue, you know? That would be very bad in many cases. It's definitely not going to be beneficial by any stretch of the imagination. So, utilizing some of our additional armaments over here is going to help us out quite a bit. On my way! Now we're gonna let that guy go for a little bit of an adventure there. Now we do actually have a few objects up here that we can use to do a little extra damage. I actually really want to get that guy stuck to the ground just because I feel like he's gonna be a very naughty boy in a lot of cases. I don't really feel like he's into the whole sharing is caring mentality and that's unfortunate you know I mean you gotta have father figures in your life you gotta have a caring uh, mother in many cases and unfortunately I feel like these guys probably made some poor decisions along the way. They're coming! Where is everybody? They're attacking my car! Help the warden! I'll keep working on getting the power restored! Right, I'm on it! Take 
them all out. Ooh, look at this guy. He is a very big boy. He's been eating very healthy, as you guys can see. Now, of course, since he's been eating so healthy, I'm actually going to use some of the nearby objects to really deal a little extra damage to him. Just because he's been eating so great, I feel like it'd be such a disservice if we didn't do that for him. Can always get worse. Now I'm doing my very best. We do need to get rid of this guy with this uh, weapon over here. He's been very inconsistent with his ability to use it. However, he's also a very frustrating individual. So I feel like it's a two for one combo in these cases where if we can get rid of these guys, it's great. And then also this gentleman that I thought we got rid of a while ago, but unfortunately he's a very persistent individual. So, I mean, you got to give him props. Every once in a while, you'll have somebody that really knows how to kind of be different. Now, a few extra guys with riot shields obviously are going to be a little bit of a problem, but nevertheless, able to successfully get them taken out of commission, though. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! Uh! Ah! Yuri! <laughs> I'm slipping! Gotcha! Hold on! Uh! You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fire! Looks like we made parole, boys! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cell and lock the door behind you, okay? Please? Now we have so many guys over here that we need to take care of. I mean, it was a great option, especially to use some of that electrical stuff there to do a little bit extra damage to these guys just because there's so many of them over here that I definitely need to get these guys kind of chain reactioned a little bit so we can deal a little extra damage to them. Look at that, we just pretty much wiped out a couple of them. That was a great way to kind of free up some space here. Obviously a little bit more oxygen generally in this area. So I feel like we're doing pretty well ultimately. Well, we're winning because we're such a powerhouse in these cases. I mean, these guys, I mean, they don't have any weapons. And when you see us coming to the gun show with these bad boys, I mean, this is just terrifying for mere mortals.
ultimately these guys should be ashamed of themselves you know really spending so much time in the gym and they just they're getting beat by a dude that wears spandex i mean that's terrible that doesn't sound good Oh, hi, Rhino! Yeah. Hope you like surprise, Spider! <laughs> surprise? What is he talking about? Hey, what's your status? Me? Just trapped in a prison with every criminal I've put away in the last... <laughs> <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. <laughs> Containment breach, cell block C. Initiate emergency lockdown. Help! Lost you for a second there. You okay? Not really. Electro, Rhino, and now Scorpion are all on the loose. What's going on in the rest of the prison? Camera system's almost up. I'll give you a sit rep soon. Okay, I'll keep tracking Electro. So we were able to free up a little bit of extra breathing room here. I mean, I felt like we really needed it because we just had so many guys that were going to be creating so many problems for us that it really could have been a really bad time. Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. Gotta stop this guy. Tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! Oh, gotcha! Vulture! Long time no see! We're going to have so much fun! Sorry, no time to talk! Okay, I got the security cameras back online. How's it look? Well, it looks like the entire population of the raft has escaped. Including Martin Lee. That makes five of your worst enemies that are now on the loop. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were serious. I am serious. I have to go. Some of them are heading into the city. How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to.
Dr. Octavius. First and final warning. Stay out of our way. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! Lies. It's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. You okay? <laughs> Fine. Can you, uh, can you pass us out for me? Sure. But they are working around the clock on a cure for this deadly disease. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp Turn is not in NDC on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. Dr. Octavius. Why? How did I let this happen? Just got a call from the hospital. They said you went AWOL. I need to get back to work. The doctor said you still have 14 broken bones. Which means I have 192 non-broken ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sable. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. What is happening to our city, Yuri? I don't know. Feels like the end of the world. Maybe it is. I'm here to help. Good. There's gangs of escaped prisoners banding together and taking over entire city blocks. Looting, strong-arming local residents, you name it. I'll take care of them. What else you got? 
The mayor told Silver Sable to do whatever it takes to find Lee and Octavius. So she's just rounding people up indiscriminately, holding them captive in bases around the city. I've even heard rumors of enhanced interrogation tactics. You mean torture? 